Hello, I'm Dale Leftwich with Real Agriculture. Today I'm with Elston Solberg. He's a crop whisperer and an agri-coach extraordinaire. He's been around the business for quite a while. Uh, we're here at the Suregrowth Field Day, just north of Marchwell on Aberhart Farms. How are you doing today, El? Oh, today's been an awesome day. Um, you know, a bunch of really great farmers and a bunch of really great fields and a bunch of really cool learning. So today's a really awesome day. Yeah, you, there was a lot of uh, good resource people here and talking about a lot of uh, fairly in-depth uh, ideas. You were talking about uh, nutrients, actually, is mm -hmm. one of the things you were talking about. You actually branched into a couple other things, but <laughs> you were talking about, uh, about ratios and making sure that there's a balance. You want to talk just a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, the most important nutrient that we need to manage as farmers and as people helping farmers is water. And, uh, and then, you know, once we, we have that piece kind of figured out and that we could go on for a long time about that piece. But when we t take tissue samples, there's three key nutrients or sorry, three key ratios that we need to pay attention to. And I didn't learn this stuff till I was in my 40s. So um, part of my mission in life right now is to try to get young agronomists, young, young farmers, understanding things a lot sooner than that. So originally uh, there was a lot of NPKS PKS talk, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's what kind of we all did. Yeah. And you're just saying that there's more to nutrients than that and you want to help people well, understand that a little earlier than what you did. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, uh, so at the end of the day, everything is about balance and we're trying to balance wa water with all other nutrients. So what, what I've been saying to people for years is that when you look at your tissue test, there's three key ratios that we need to pay attention to. The first one is your N to S ratio. Second is your N to K ratio, and your third is your calcium to boron ratio. So then the next question is, well, why? So N to S, it's all about amino acids. It's, uh, there's 20 amino acids that create protein. Two of those amino acids are sulfur-based methionine and cysteine and it just so happens that when methionine and cysteine are in sh short supply um, they are also the ones that that um, sort of monitor or uh, yeah monitor the production of all of the other amino acids so just to stop you there, so you're talking about a plant as a, a as a more of a thinking thing or more something that r yeah. actually responds yeah. right yeah. is that kind of the idea which is uh, not the way we've been looking at it before so that's why these ratios are important exactly so uh, i've said for years if we could as an industry as individuals think like plants instead of like humans right yeah we would make great inroads and yeah and so the basic understanding is that methionine and cysteine are the gatekeepers to the production of all of the other amino acids. When sulfur's in short supply, we don't have those amino acids that are the gatekeeper, and we run into problems. So the first ratio we need to nail, to nail down is the N to S ratio. So for canola, okay. it's 6 to 1. For peas, it's 8 to 1. Any of the pulses or legumes is 8 to 1. And for cereals, it's 10 to 1. And then the next ratio is N to K. And... Um, so for people who are, I mean, most people watching this will know that K is potash, but you're talking yeah. nitrogen to potash That's ratio. That's exactly. And everybody talks about nitrogen all the time. And then, 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 and the third is calcium, and we can go down the list, but most people don't recognize, like, if you want to grow a bushel of canola, it needs 3.3 .3 pounds of nitrogen, and it needs 2.2 to 2.4 pounds of potash. Right. And so that's why the ratio is so important, um, because the demand for potassium uh, from about the elongation stage to bloom is just about straight up. Right. Um, and so that's the mo second most important ratio. And then the third most important ratio is calcium to boron. And the reason calcium to boron is so important is that calcium is the nutrient. It's the third most required nutrient of any crop that we grow. It's the nutrient that creates strong cell walls. And the boron, if you can imagine, the analogy I use, if calcium is my hand, boron is the glove. Boron is the the nutrient that helps strengthen the cell walls even more it's involved in um, driving roots it's in involved in cell differentiation it's involved in pollination it's involved in so many things so there's lots of ratios on the tissue test but right. those are the three most important and once you get n to s in place 
and end decay in place, the efficiency of water use, the efficiency of overall nutrient use goes way, way, way up. And then once you get the calcium to boron one in, in place, the whole system just starts to really hum. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, this has been Elson Solberg with us today. Uh, he really is a crop whisperer. <laughs> and uh, I just uh, want to reiterate what he said is, think like a plant. Think like a plant. Think like a plant. Life Thanks. gets easier. Life gets easier. Okay. Thanks Cheers. very much. Thanks yeah. very much. Yeah.